Hi, I'm Christopher Rokas, actor, director, producer. And I'm going to tell you how to buy a camcorder. First of all, congratulations on your decision. Uh, buying a camcorder is an awesome, awesome thing. I make my money with them every day. I love it. They're like an extension of my body. Choosing the right one, though, for the right application is important. What are you going to do with it? Are you going to make home movies? Are you going to make videos for YouTube and the Internet? Are you going to make independent films? Are you going to make feature films? That's going to dictate a lot. The other thing that dictates a lot, as always, is your budget. How much cash do you have to spend? You can get some basic ones in the $300 range, in the $800 range, in the $1,200, $3,000, $8,000, and $6,000. Not quite in order there, but you get what I'm saying. Um, good decisions to be made in any category. All right? My opinion on what to look for in a good camcorder. If you're doing it for home video, then Auto, auto, auto is your best bet. Fully automatic. And you may even consider a, um, a one that goes right to DVD. Now that's for somebody who just is, just wants to, to keep their memories. This is not about, uh, it, it doesn't make it easy necessarily to edit and post produce. What the DVD burning ones are nice for is you take it out of the camera and you place it into something that everybody has, a DVD player, so you can start watching it. Um, so if you're using it the way your parents use their Super 8, uh, movie cameras, then that's the way to do it. You can, of course, you can digitize and edit it, but it's not its primary function. If you are wanting to do some editing and some posting and getting it digital, then make sure it's got a FireWire cable. Some of them have HDMI, but FireWire is going to be the easiest to plug into the camera and then right into your computer and begin the post-production process. Um, the other thing that I recommend is to get, if you can, at very least a three-chip camera. Okay, and what three-chip means is that there's an individual pickup chip or brain for each of the three colors of the video spectrum, which is R, G, and B. Red, blue, and green. Those three colors make up the spectrum that we use for video. That'll offer you a lot of information there. The other thing is you want to get the very best glass you can, okay? And by glass, I mean lens, all right? Um, you can see here with these two different ones, there is a varying difference between them and, one, you know, yes. But the biggest thing is the size of their lens, all right? The better the lens, the better the pickup. This one could have comparable chips to this one, but if it's not getting the picture in in the same way, it's not going to have the same resolution and fidelity. The other thing that you're going to notice that this one has, a <clears throat> professional camera versus the other one, is the ability to push buttons and do things manually. This one you're going to go through as far as through menu functions to make it happen. Whatever you choose, have fun with it. I'm Chris Rokas, and we'll see you in Hollywood.